Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1707, the Acts of Union are signed, officially uniting the kingdoms of England and Scotland to create the Kingdom of Great Britain. You can see more about this in the movie Braveheart. In 1765, the Kingdom of Great Britain passes the Quartering Act that requires the 13 colonies to house British troops during the American Revolutionary War. It did not go over well. In 1829, the Parliament of the United Kingdom passes the Roman Catholic Relief Act, allowing Catholics to serve in Parliament. In 1832, in Hiram, Ohio, a group of men beat in tar and feather Mormon leader Joseph Smith, Jr. In 1837, Canada gives African-Canadian men the right to vote. In 1860, the clipper Andrew Jackson arrives in San Francisco only 89 days since leaving New York. Only 89 days. In 1874, Hungarian-American illusionist Harry Houdini is born. In 1882, Robert Koch discovers the bacterium responsible for tuberculosis. Also in 1882, American poet Henry Wadsworth Longfellow passes away. In 1883, the first telephone call between New York and Chicago happens on this day. In 1896, Alexander Popov makes the world's first radio transmission. In 1900, the mayor of New York City breaks ground for a new underground rapid transit railroad that will link Manhattan and Brooklyn. In 1905, French author Jules Verne passes away. In 1906, a census of the British Empire shows that Great Britain rules one-fifth of the world. In 1913, the Palace Theatre opens on Broadway in New York City. In 1930, American actor Steve McQueen is born today. In 1934, the U.S. Congress passes the Tidings McDuffie Act, declaring the Philippines as independent after a period of 10 years. In 1935, Major Bo's original amateur hour goes national on the NBC radio network. In 1937, a bus carrying a roller skater troupe to Cincinnati from St. Louis crashes into a bridge abutment in Salem, Illinois, killing 21 people. In 1939, the movie Wuthering Heights, starring Merle Oberon and Laurence Olivier, premieres in Los Angeles. In 1942, the U.S. government begins moving native-born citizens with Japanese ancestry into detention centers under Executive Order 9066 with the intention of preventing homegrown espionage. In 1944, more than 75 Allied prisoners undertook a daring escape from a POW camp in Germany. It inspired the classic World War II movie, The Great Escape. Also in 1944, Royal Air Force rear gunner Nicholas Aldamade survives a jump from his plane 18,000 feet over Germany without a parachute. His fall is broken by pine trees and soft snow, and he suffers only a sprained leg. Absolutely amazing. In 1945, Billboard's magazine Pop Album Chart debuts today. In 1949, at the 21st Academy Awards, Hamlet, Laurence Olivier, and Jane Wyman win while Walter and John Huston become the first father and son team to win awards. In 1955, the first seagoing oil drill rig is placed in service. Also in 1955, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof by Tennessee Williams opens for 694 performances. In 1958, serial number 53310761 joins the U.S. Army. It is Elvis Presley. In 1960, the U.S. Appeals Court rules the novel Lady Chatterley's Lover is not obscene. In 1961, the New York Senate approves $55 million for a baseball stadium at Flushing Meadows. In 1962, Mick Jagger and Keith Richards perform as Little Boy Blue and the Blue Boys. In 1964, the Kennedy Half Dollar is issued. In 1965, Millions watched the controlled crash of Ranger 9 onto the moon. In 1967, the University of Michigan holds the first teach-in after the bombing of North Vietnam. In 1972, the United Kingdom imposes direct rule over Northern Ireland. 
In 1976, one of football's premier quarterbacks, Peyton Manning, was born. In 1977, Lily Tomlin is the first woman to appear solo in a Broadway show in Appearing Nightly. In 1978, Paul McCartney and Wings release With a Little Luck. In 1980, a vocal critic of the violence during El Salvador civil conflict, Archbishop Oscar Romero was assassinated while celebrating Mass in San Salvador. Also in 1980, ABC's nightly Iran hostage update program is renamed Nightline. And in 1980 as well, Capitol Records releases some rare Beatles tracks on the LP, Rarities. In 1981, remember Nightline that I mentioned above? Well, Ted Koppel joins tonight, and the rest is history. In 1985, at the 5th Razzie Awards, Bolero wins. In 1986, at the 58th Academy Awards, Out of Africa, William Hurt and Geraldine Page win. In 1988, quarterback Dan Fouts retires. In 1989, the oil tanker Exxon Valdez runs aground in Prince William Sound in Alaska. In 1991, at the 11th Razzie Awards, two movies win, Ford Fairlane and Ghosts Can't Do It. In 1993, today was the discovery of the comet Shoemaker-Levy 9. In 1997, at the 69th Academy Awards, The English Patient, Jeffrey Rush, and Francis McDormand win. In 1998, a tornado hits Dantan, India, killing 250 people and injuring 3,000 others. Also in 1998, Mitchell Johnson and Andrew Golden, ages 11 and 13 respectively, fire upon teachers and students at Westside Middle School in Jonesboro, Arkansas. Five people are killed and 10 are wounded. In 1999, for the first time ever, NATO attacks a sovereign nation by bombing Yugoslavia. Also in 1999, a fire in the Mont Blanc Tunnel, which connects France and Italy, took two days to put out and killed 39 people. In 1999 as well, The Matrix, starring Keanu Reeves, Lawrence Fishburne, and Carrie Ann Moss premieres. In 2001, at the 21st Razzie Awards, Battlefield Earth deservedly wins. In 2002, film stars Denzel Washington and Halle Berry become the second and third African Americans to win Academy Awards for performances in leading roles. In 2003, the Arab League votes in favor of a resolution demanding the immediate and unconditional removal of U.S. and British soldiers from Iraq. In 2005, the U.S. version of The Office, starring Steve Carell and John Krasinski, premieres on NBC. That first year did not go well. In 2015, a German wings flight en route between Barcelona and Dusseldorf crashes in the French Alps, killing all 150 people on board. In 2016, English footballer Adam Johnson is sentenced to six years in prison for sexual activity with a schoolgirl. In 2019, New England Patriots tight end Rob Gronkowski announces his retirement. Also in 2019, the investigation headed by special counsel Robert S. Mueller finds no evidence that President Trump colluded with Russia in the 2016 election. In 2020, Japan's Prime Minister announces the postponement of the Tokyo 2020 Olympic and Paralympic Games until the summer of 2021 because of the worldwide COVID-19 pandemic. Also in 2020, China's Hubei province the original center of the COVID-19 outbreak eases restrictions on travel after a nearly two-month lockdown. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. It was kind of a short one, so you should watch a few more and make sure that you subscribe to my channel and keep up with what's going on with me. All right, see you soon.